Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of January um, the 18th through the 31st, 2021. Alright, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings. Uh, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, separate process, make sure you are subscribed at Bill Per Call. Um, you can request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Um, and also be sure to check out Patreon. The Venus sign readings are there now. If you guys are wondering, this is the um, <laughs> Super Linaris, Super Linaris Tarot. All right, so we have a central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the um, Justice. We have Three of Wands. We have the Moon. Knight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. The Tower. King of Swords. And Page of Wands. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like you guys are clearing a lot of karma. Um, I feel like you are needing to just kind of finalize things with people. Even if you're single, there is something going on where it's like you're having to clear your energy. Um, you may have been dealing with a lot of emotional wounds. Um, and I feel like you know, you are, or maybe now you're more open to explore those feelings. Um, so something, something's getting ready to get triggered though. I feel like you could be in the middle of making some sort of decision. Um, maybe you are trying to decide if you should stay, if you should go, or if you're trying to decide between uh, more than one person. Um, you've got like all the elements out, so you could be dealing with anyone. Mm, it looks to like contracts are being severed. Mm, any soul contract that you have with, with someone, it looks like you're being severed from from it and maybe because it's expired anything that is that you, you've been lingering or holding on to um, after it's supposed to end I feel like this is um, outside forces coming to break that up um, also there may need to be some sort of a reset in regards to um, your lives or your relationships and I feel like in order to do that, there has to be a dismantling of your ideas or your beliefs. Uh, the direction that you were headed in, not saying it, it's the wrong direction, it just seems like you're, you're getting rerouted. Um, you're also probably going to be forced to deal with situations that you didn't want to deal with. You may get receive some sort of unexpected announcement or some sort of unexpected news from someone. I feel too like maybe someone is doing drastic things to get your attention or you are doing this. Hmm. I'm also seeing some sort of unexpected events as well. Something very unexpected could be going on between um, you and an earth sign or you and an air sign. Or maybe you're having to sever ties or just something's being revealed. Yeah, there there's a lot of people around you. A lot of people that maybe heavily influence you in regards to love and relationships. 
I know Mercury is getting ready to go retrograde soon, so it's also possible that um, when that happens, any type of loose ends there have been um, are being resurfaced so that you can tie up all those loose ends and just be able to move forward. Mm. <clears throat> Uh, some of you also could be going through any type of legalities. Um, maybe there's something going on with child custody. Someone may be needing to stand their ground. Or someone does something unexpectedly, does something unexpectedly like being served court documents. Someone also may be very upset, very emotional, um, kind of being a little irrational, especially if someone feels like they've been trying to be fair, they've been trying to do the right thing, and then it's just like someone may be losing it. <clears throat> I feel like somebody's going to snap. Be careful for any of you that has been dabbling in spell work to cause some sort of attraction spell. Um, just be careful because it could go either way. Either it's going to backfire or the results will be just very unexpected or overwhelming. If there was a third party situation, I feel like someone's been using some sort of spell work or meditation to try to break off that additional, that third party um, so that it could just be the two of you. Or this is happening the other way around. Somebody's trying to get rid of you so it could just be the two of them. I feel too that something has to fall apart um, because only the real only the one or only what's true will be left standing. Anything also that has been built on a foundation of illusions or lies, or that's definitely falling apart. I feel too, if someone has some sort of secret or hidden feelings for you, somehow it's going to get exposed. <clears throat> I heard a Ryan for somebody. Now, I said Ryan, but I also noticed that it sounded like I said Orion. I don't know if that's any significance for someone. Um, so, yeah, it does look like whatever happens this first week uh, or midweek, um, it may be kind of messy. There may be some sort of disruption or shakeup in your life. Um, but I feel like then that following week or before the month is out, you're going to have clarity. I feel like you're going to be optimistic. Something is also inspiring you or motivating you to keep pushing towards your goals when it comes to yourself or when it comes to, um, relationships. But I feel like there's someone that's going to be flirting with you. And you may know this person from childhood. Mm, I also feel like there's a loyal person coming your way. Someone's very loyal. 
Definitely soulmate energy. Hey, we got the sun and moon out. Um, so also in, in regards to astrology, those of you that study that, I feel like maybe there's also some sort of um, connection between your suns and moons. Like maybe your sun is trying their moon or maybe your sun and moon are conjunct. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's someone rushing towards you. It does look like you're being pursued. Unless you are the pursuer, then it may be someone new that that comes into your life that inspires you to pursue them. Um, it also could be if you're in an established relationship that, you know, there's going to be a renewal or rebirth of some sort. I feel too like something in regards to a child may be significant. Um, either someone is finding out about a pregnancy or um, there could be the truth coming out about a child or somebody could be messing with the baby's mom or the baby's father, the child of, you know, the mother or father of your child. Um, be careful about immaturity, though, because it does look like someone can come off very immature and childlike as well. Hmm. I feel too like those of you that have uh, dreams or remember your dreams, uh, I feel like you're going to have a very intense sexual dream about someone or it might be very graphic. I almost want to say if anyone is doing any type of sex magic on you that is going to be revealed. Mm. Something is also going on in regards to your traditional beliefs. I feel like maybe in order to have love, you are having to adapt to your to your your current life, or you're adapting some sort of new beliefs. Maybe something has failed you, like some sort of old paradigm failed you. So now this, there is a time for you to embrace what works for you. I'm seeing 55 or 55, so those numbers may also be of some sort of significance for you. Um, I feel too like someone is going to admit or tell the truth about the fact that they have regrets um, or that they miss you or that they made a mistake. I feel like either an air sign misses you or you miss an air sign. somebody misses this person that they have maybe have a child with someone also may be feeling bad about how things went down in court someone may be suffering from some sort of loss um, and just kind of waiting on some sort of inheritance Someone's family issues could also be getting in the way of your relationship, if you're in a relationship. Something's going on with family. Someone's been really sad or depressed about something now. You might learn about that. Yeah, matter of fact, something does look a little funeralish. So I don't know if this someone is um, having a memorial or if something's going on. It just looks like maybe some sort of depression or tragedy could have happened. 
um, recently, uh, and I'm talking about something that should have happened by the time you're watching this reading. Um, yeah, it just kind of looks like someone is having to bury someone. If if it's not literally having to bury somebody, then it's just maybe having to bury an idea uh, that you once had. I feel like somebody really just does not like the way something ended though. They're like, I shouldn't have let it end like this. Or we could have ended on a better note than this. Yeah, something also, again, seems like it's going on with family traditions or family values. Yeah, something fell apart. There was... Um, I don't know if someone is being viewed as an outcast um, for doing something different than the norm. Maybe someone is, you know, gay or maybe someone is um, in some sort of unusual relationship that is, it kind of breaks boundaries or stereotypes or it goes against structure. Hmm. At least in regards to someone's family, like maybe someone is dating someone poor and their family comes from old money. Um, maybe it's an interracial relationship, but something is, I don't know. I feel like maybe someone is being banished from their family or community because of their choices in love or relationships or maybe someone's even taken a vow of celibacy or something but yeah so I feel like your faith is being tested and I feel like you're trying to figure out how to pick up the pieces to your life maybe too some things have been going on in your personal life that has just been too disruptive for you to even focus on your love life if you're single. Um, but yeah, there are some things that have been going on and, you know, I feel like things would be okay. But yeah, there had to be some sort of a reset for you. So those are the messages. Uh, hopefully they resonate. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.